Hi, you're listening to Yellow King Film Boy. So it seems that there is going to be a Netflix long form mini series version of Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You may ask, how do I know this? Well, it turns out that Brad Pitt did an interview with the New York Times to promote his new film, Ad Astra. And he talks about this miniseries version, which of course is much longer. Tarantino recently released a miniseries version of The Hateful Eight on Netflix, which was a four episode cut and contained about 30 minutes of extra footage. And so it seems that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood looks set to get the same treatment. The Brad Pitt interview does raise some interesting questions in regards to the evolution of movies going to the cinema and how this is going to evolve alongside Netflix and binge watching shows. In the interview, Brad Pitt says, I'm curious to see if movies last, if movies stick around. What I notice about the younger generation is that they're used to receiving a lot of information at a much faster pace and they're more inclined to watch a short series of episodes where you can stay in it as long as you want or jump out whenever you get bored. With a film to sit down for two hours is a commitment that a lot of people aren't willing to make. I love when you can have that transportive experience but I may be a dinosaur. Yeah, for us old people, all I know is you can't fight it. You have to go with it. I'm still going to be pushing for the long form film because that's where my heart lies. But they almost have to be some kind of event for them not to get lost in the vast ocean of content. On the other hand, I look at series where you can spend more time on characters and story and explore more angles you don't always get to do in films. So much of these films end up on the cutting room floor because they just don't fit in that box. That's why I think it's interesting that Tarantino took Hateful Eight and repurposed it as a four part series. It's almost the best of both worlds. You have the cinema experience that exists, but you can actually put more content in the series format. He then goes on to talk about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Netflix version. He said, when asked about it, he says, yes, he has talked about it, that's Tarantino, and it's a pretty arousing idea, he says. It's well known that Tarantino has cut lots of content from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to make the film shorter and more streamlined for the cinema release. Apparently lots of footage of Charles Manson was cut and Tim Roth's entire performance was cut out of the film. So what do you guys think? Are movies and cinema going to continue in the same way they have or are things going to change? Is there room for all kinds of movies at the cinema? Because it does seem like a movie at the cinema these days has to be the same kind of big event film blockbuster to get people to leave the house. You know, like a Marvel, Disney, Star Wars thing. And while Disney seems to be taken over with their numerous billion dollar making films this year, even they are setting up their own Netflix competition with Disney Plus. Are films eventually going to merge with the binge watching Netflix style format of shows? Let us know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for listening.